हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑन बोर्ड फ्लाइट टू कैप्टन विजय ऑन फोर्थ नवंबर टू थाउजेंड एट ए लियर जेट फोर फाइव क्रैश एट वन एट फोर फाइव आवर्स ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर शॉर्ट ऑफ मैक्सिकन इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट किलिंग नाइन पैसेंजर्स ऑन बोर्ड एंड सिक्स ऑन द ग्राउंड एक्सीडेंट इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिपोर्ट रिवील दैट दिस लेयर जेट फोर फाइव वॉज हिट बाई वेक टर्बुलेंस ऑफ ए बोइंग सेवन सिक्स सेवन फ्लाइंग एहेड ऑफ इट ऑन फाइनल अप्रोच पाथ लेयर जेट फोर फाइव वॉज फोर नॉटिकल माइल बिहाइंड बोइंग सेवन सिक्स सेवन इंस्टेड ऑफ सेफ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव नॉटिकल माइल रिक्वायर टू अवॉइड वेक टर्बुलेंस इन एविएशन देर हैज बिन लार्ज नंबर ऑफ एक्सीडेंट्स ड्यू टू गेटिंग कॉट इन द वेक ऑफ हैवी एरोप्लेन्स फ्लाइंग एहेड ऑफ इट सम रिजल्टिंग इन फेटल क्रैसेस एंड सम रिजल्टिंग इन लॉस ऑफ ऑल्टीट्यूड एंड टेम्पररी लॉस ऑफ कंट्रोल सो वेक टर्बुलेंस कैन बी डेडली एंड फेटल स्पेशली एट लो ऑल्टीट्यूड एंड नीड टू बी अंडरस्टूड वेल एंड अवॉइडेड एट ऑल टाइम्स इन टूडेज फ्लाइट आई विल टेक यू थ्रू द टॉपिक ऑफ वॉट इज वेक टर्बुलेंस हाउ इज इट जनरेटेड हाउ लॉन्ग डज इट ट्रेवल हाउ आर एरोप्लेन्स कैटेगराइज फॉर वेक टर्बुलेंस एंड वॉट मेजर्स आर टेकन टू अवॉइड दैम सो फास्ट इन योर सीट बेल्ट एज वी आर रेडी फॉर टेक ऑफ वॉट इज वेक वेक इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ डिस्टर्ब एयर फ्लो बिहाइंड एन एरोप्लेन बट वाई इज द एयर फ्लो डिस्टर्ब बिहाइंड एन एरोप्लेन डिस्टर्ब एयर फ्लो इज कॉज्ड ड्यू टू विंग टिप वॉटिस एंड ऑल्सो फ्रॉम जेट वॉश हाई स्पीड डिस्टर्ब एयर फ्लो जनरेटेड फ्रॉम जेट इंजिनस जेट वॉश डज नॉट ट्रेवल लॉन्ग एंड गेट डिस्पर्स इजिली बट विंग टिप वॉटिस कैन कीप द एयर फ्लो डिस्टर्ब फॉर अप टू थ्री मिनट्स बिहाइंड इट्स फ्लाइट पाथ Let us understand what are wingtip vortices which generate this wake turbulence. To remain afloat in air, aeroplane have to produce lift to balance its weight. So higher the weight of an aeroplane, more lift it needs to produce. Lift is produced by making the airflow pass over wings which is f of an aerofoil shape. When air pa- passes over the wing, it accelerates. Speed of the air increases which results in drop in pressure as per Bernoulli's theorem. so there is a higher pressure below the wing and lower pressure above the wing this difference in pressure between lower and upper surface of the wing causes a net force in upward direction which is called lift due to higher pressure below and lower pressure above air starts flowing from bottom of the wing to the top of the wing near the wing tips of both the wings resulting in the formation of two counter rotating vortices trailing behind the aircraft causing disturbed air flow to generate wake turbulence for the aeroplanes following behind an aeroplane following will encounter disturbed air flow leading to two hazardous situation first is that the disturbed air flow may not produce the required lift force to sustain aircraft weight thus will lose height second is that lift forces will not be equal on both wings and unequal lift force will result in uncommanded rolling motion so double trouble wake turbulence category heavier aeroplane require more lift to remain afloat in the air and more lift will require larger pressure differential between the lower and upper surface of the wing stronger will be the wing tip vortices so heavier aeroplane will have stronger wake turbulence second factor is speed wake turbulence would be stronger when aeroplanes fly at low speed why so the lift required to remain afloat remain the same at all speeds at lower speed aeroplanes have to fly at higher angle of attack to produce the same amount of lift if you do not understand what is angle of attack at this stage do not worry you can study it separately in aerodynamics at higher angle of attack air flow is more turbulent over the wings and hence wake turbulence would be stronger so wake turbulence behind an aeroplane will be stronger during take off and landing phase of flight as compared to cruise flight since they maintain slow speed during take off and landing and high angle of attack there are four categories of wake turbulence first is super heavy and as of now only aircraft in this category is airbus a380 weighing 575 tons next wake turbulence category is heavy next is medium and the last is light for aircraft less than 7000 kg while filing flight plan you have to mention the wake turbulence category of aeroplane using the code j for super h for heavy m for medium and l for light and by now you must have understood that wake turbulence of super heavy and heavy would be most dangerous danger zone of wake turbulence does the wake of an aeroplane behind its wing 
travel in all directions? No. Wake never travels ahead and never travel upwards. It only travels behind and downwards close to 6 o'clock position of the wake generating aeroplane. So no matter how close you are to another aeroplane, if you are above him, there is no risk of wake turbulence. All aeroplane will generate wake turbulence moment it lifts off till it lands on ground since wake is directly connected with generation of lift. So as long as you are generating lift, you are generating wake turbulence behind you. Two aeroplanes on approach for the same glide path angle, the aeroplane behind will have minimal risk of wake turbulence since at all times during the approach, he would be higher than the preceding aeroplane. But during takeoff and landing phase, all aeroplanes will have risk of hitting wake of preceding aircraft since they will be below the height of preceding aircraft at all times. Wake travels behind the aeroplane and descends as it moves back up to 1000 feet below. Wake sinks at a rate of 100 to 150 meter per minute and stabilizes at about 200 to 300 meter below the flight level of the generating aircraft. So if height separation is more than 1000 feet, you can assume to be safe. Width of the wake zone is similar to the wingspan of generating aircraft. Yes, it can drift sideways also due to the prevailing atmospheric wind conditions. What will happen if you hit the wake? The natural tendency for the wake is to eject the aircraft out from its vortices. Most likely you will be automatically thrown out of it. If not, you need to get out of it as quickly as possible. Control inputs to lift the dropping wing may help if only one wing is being affected by the wake. A slight climb or a lateral displacement away from 6 o'clock position of the preceding aircraft will help you to get out of it. Standard Operating Procedures to Avoid Wake Turbulence ICAO has laid down standard rules and SOPs to ensure that all aircraft following another maintain safe stipulated distance behind another based on their wake turbulence category. This separation can also be maintained with, with respect to time separation between two aeroplanes. The word super and heavy should be included by super or heavy aircraft immediately after the aircraft makes initial contact with the ATC to warn ATC and other aircraft that they should maintain additional separation to avoid his wake turbulence. Wake separation minima. By now you have understood that there must be safe time and distance separation between two aircraft following same flight path to ensure wake avoidance. These separation minima will vary depending on wake turbulence category of both preceding as well as the following aeroplanes. Wake separation minima for departures as well as arrival is as shown on the screen. Question may come in CPL or ATPL exam on these figures, so you need to remember it. So hope this video has helped you in understanding wake turbulence, why is it dangerous and measures taken to avoid hitting it. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more informative videos on aviation. Write in the comment section below if you like this video or if you want me to cover a specific topic. Hope to see you on board again for the next flight. Till then, happy landings.